Hello YouTube. I'm back again. I don't have anything particular to talk about. I just want to talk about the things that's going on and uh, being a senior citizen and everything. Uh, first of all, let me uh, give a shout out to uh, that Bullfrog79. You know, better known as Uncle Al. I meant to do it uh, back here uh, about a couple of weeks ago, right before Thanksgiving. He was sick and uh, he had to go off the air for a while while he recovered. I wanted to give him a shout out and wish him all the best. And I forgot to do it. Well, I did the video before I did it. So anyway, I, I'm glad to see you back on the air. And uh, keep up the good work, Uncle Al. Okay, anyway, let me get to the point. I mean, um, the story never ends. I mean, if you are a senior citizen and uh, you've been around long as I have and a lot of you have, I mean... Some of you, I'm just a baby too, but uh, I just want everybody to know it seems like uh, threats are lurking out there. I mean, threats are everywhere now. I mean, I may be getting a little paranoid with with all the home invasions that we're having out here lately. It's just getting to be uh, crazy, especially up here in Cleveland where I live at. Maybe it's just the new trend. I mean, they got rid of uh, all the corner boys off the corner back years ago and now everything is fentanyl and break-ins, it seems like, uh, or people stealing the ATM machines, you know, they, they steal in vans and then they go steal the ATM machines. I don't know if y'all have that where you at, but they, it's big up here in uh, Cleveland. Okay, and uh, I just want to say, you know, by being a senior citizen and you have neighbors, and I have uh, a f quite a few neighbors that's uh, that's been around as long as I have over in this neighborhood. Like I said, I've been here. Uh, 33 years and I have neighbors that was here before me, you know, that's been here and uh, And if something happened it, you, Can you could you hear your neighbor uh, calling for help? I always wondered about that when I seen these commercials, you know, I fall and I can't get up I mean if you just out sitting on your porch and Would you hear your neighbor screaming for help? I don't know and uh, a lot of people say they don't own guns a lot of people say they want on guns. I mean, what's your alternative to a gun? A baseball bat? A tire iron? You know, I don't know, a knife? But if you got four intruders in your house, <laughs> and they in there for a reason, and they know you home because we've been getting a lot of home invasions while people are home. I mean, while they're at home, that's why they call them home invasion, not just burglaries, but home invasion. And, and uh, uh, and they violent, you know. You got the violent gangs of intruders coming into your home. I mean, you got to be prepared. I mean, you got to try. And then I just want to say, uh, I, I, I'm sending my prayers out to everybody that's in the East, you know, like New York State, um, Boston, and uh, New Hampshire, and, and uh, you know, the states up that way because they got hit with some snow, especially around Albany. I, I think they got like 28 inches of snow and more more snow coming. Like I said in one of my videos, winter's coming. Winter's coming is here. I mean, I know in New York that the, the governor, he declared five counties as an emergency state. So, you know, it's just crazy. The weather's always going to be crazy, you know. So, you know, we, we are vulnerable because, you know, we, 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 we older. You know, we just waiting for the next pandemic to come through is see how sick most of us get. I mean, they say the flu is picking up right now. Here, I don't know if they're advertising it because, you know, the, I'm going to say this. I'm going to put it flat, flat out there. We we have a lack of uh, political and financial support from the government if you're a senior. And that's the basic line. I mean, I'm not just saying it. And a lot of people that's younger, they probably won't understand. But when you get older, you want to find out. Especially when they taking your money to do other things with the money that you paying now for social security don't expect to see it when you retire so anyway i just had to put that out there i know i'll probably get jacked by the government because uh you know i, I got one of these uh smart tvs too so they probably watching me okay and another thing i wanted to say that yeah i i, I may mention something every week about uh the food crisis because people don't understand we are in the middle of food crisis i mean I just seen uh, today potatoes. The potato crop didn't do too well. I mean, uh, a lot of people that making these potatoes for these restaurants, these French fries, they say it's a French fry shortage. And then I looked into it and I see where uh, 
we get a lot of potato, potatoes from Canada too. And they said 18% of uh, Manitoba fields were unharvested. And another 6.5% of the Alberta fields, they got uh, frost. That's the can can uh, Canadian potatoes. You know, and our potatoes, a lot of them didn't do well because of the floods. They drowned. And so, like I said, you know, it's corn. It was, it's been hogs. It's been potatoes, fruits. I mean, it, it, you just you just look and you see things are happening. I mean, it's just getting crazy. I'm making this too uh too long. And I mean, then they got these viruses out there that we don't understand. And then they got this AI stuff. You know, the artificial intelligence. They 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 training these machines to uh, kick in doors. I mean, they got some that look like dogs and some that straight up look like uh, soldiers. So keep an eye on that. Uh, Big Brother's coming. Big Brother's watching you. He's going to get you. <laughs> He's going to get all of us. And then, you know, like I say, the planet, the planet is in an emergency, you know, with this weather situation. I mean, the pests and rodents are running wild now. We don't we don't get to hear it here, but it, in other places, they are everywhere. It's the academic. I mean, it's like uh, Mother Nature is taking back the planet and they're trying to get rid of us. And it's, uh, uh, Mother Nature, we are pla a plague. And uh, like I said, if you're disabled and you're handicapped, and you're a senior citizen, the story doesn't end. I mean, we, we got to keep going. I mean, that's the way it is. I mean, all, all I got to say is never question God. Because he had a plan and we don't know his plan. And I, and I never question. Whatever happens, happens. And I say it happens for a reason. Because he kept me here this long and he's going to keep me in his blessing all the time. And so I'm just saying, uh, don't let the, the politics hamper you. Whatever political party you belong to, they're both the same. Don't be fooled. It's just like if you put a mask on either one of them, and it, you wouldn't even be able to tell each one, either one of them apart because they're both the same. And uh, like I said, I don't really like to talk politics, but that had to be said. I mean, so just be safe. And I really didn't have too much to say today. And like I said, are you doing the things to protect yourself? Are, are you doing the things you need to survive? You need to pick up and start doing more things. I mean, this is the winter time. This is the time that uh, most uh, people at my age... Even the people that's younger are vulnerable to the elements out there. And a lot of us uh, seem to get sick and die fast. I mean, it's it's some flu bug going around right now. I got a lot of the people I know uh, sick. All right, then. Uh, thank you, YouTube.